Hi, everyone. Welcome to Funding Models and Compute Costs. In this lecture, we're going to touch on the CapEx model versus the OpEx model. We'll also compare on-prem compute costs with cloud compute costs, so let's dive right in. While cloud computing changes how and where organizations use compute resources, it also changes the funding model, which governs the costs that are associated with computing. The funding model changes when an organization moves to the cloud because the costs become operating expenditures rather than capital expenditures. Capital expenditures, which are referred to as CapEx, are costs that are incurred when an organization purchases or upgrades physical hardware, such as servers and networking equipment. CapEx also includes things like data centers and office buildings. When a CapEx purchase is made, the equipment or real estate purchased is typically amortized over several years instead of being deducted in full in the first year. Operating expenditures, which are also referred to as OPEX, are costs that are incurred by an organization while performing its normal day-to-day -day operations. OPEX costs typically include things like electricity that is required to run hardware, the cost of employees, office space, and other ongoing business expenses. An organization's management team is responsible for keeping OPEX costs to a minimum without significantly affecting the organization's operations. OPEX costs are typically expensed each year rather than being amortized over time. So let's see how each of these funding models relates to cloud computing and to traditional on-prem costs. An organization that runs a traditional on-prem data center will usually have to pay several costs. These include server costs, storage costs, network costs, costs associated with backup and archive services, disaster recovery costs, um, the costs to purchase data center infrastructure, and of course, personnel costs. Server costs will generally include server hardware components, as well as the costs of supporting that hardware. Whenever a server or other hardware component needs to be replaced or added to the on-prem data center, you'll typically use the CapEx bucket to pay for it. Since this is an upfront cost, it affects organizational cash flow. However, as I previously mentioned, the hardware cost can be amortized over several years. Storage costs will usually include all storage-related hardware and components, along with the cost of supporting that hardware. In larger organizations, these costs can become quite large. And as is the case with server costs, these storage costs also fall into the CapEx bucket. Network costs, as you would expect, include networking hardware like cables, switches, routers, and that type of stuff. WAN connections and internet connections also fall under networking costs. These network hardware expenses also fall into the CapEx budget just like the storage hardware and the server hardware costs. Costs that are associated with backup and archive are often split between CapEx and OpEx. While the hardware costs associated with these solutions, typically with the infrastructure needed to support them, these typically fall under CapEx. The consumables like tapes and backup maintenance support will typically fall under OpEx. Disaster recovery costs are usually considered CapEx because they typically include redundant hardware, the backup generators, and in some cases, even redundant data centers. That said, the infrastructure and personnel costs are typically considered OpEx. Infrastructure costs associated with the data center, like electricity or floor space and even cooling, are also generally considered OpEx expenses. Personnel, the IT staff that you use to install and deploy and manage all this fun stuff, is considered an OPEX cost. So what about cloud computing costs? Which buckets do these costs fall into? Instead of physical hardware and data center costs, cloud computing incurs different types of costs, which for accounting purposes are usually all OPEX. These costs include things like VM leases, software leases, and charges that are incurred when you scale out. VM leases are considered OPEX because the cost is usually based on the pay-per-use model. The same thing goes for software leases. 
Scaling charges are based on demand instead of fixed hardware. Because of this, you're usually billed as you go. That said, these charges would typically also fall under OPEX. So as you can see, the lion's share of compute costs are suddenly switched to OPEX when an organization moves to the cloud.